When, when I run for president in 2024, we want to definitely know what y'all laughing at. Believe it or not, I, have, I haven't spoken to him, but I'm actually in the last week of communication with his camp. Um, he's reaching out and he's actually writing gospel music and asking me to help him get it done. We're just gonna work our way off stage. Did you, did you actually have some questions? No, that was it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we don't really know what he's going through. What it made me do, I started telling people, you don't have to know or understand it, because for real, for real, God is not obligated to tell you everything that he knows. But if you don't understand it, if you are who you say you are, don't talk about me, pray for me. I would say the same thing for Kanye and anybody else who's living out anything in the public eye that people don't understand or could consider questionable. I'm not saying that you're not entitled to your opinion, but let's be careful about getting on social media and perpetuating negativity about people who, who you know are going through some things. On a human level, I tell people, change shoes and see if this is how you, if you had to walk a day in his shoes, would you want to be on the receiving end of the stuff that you're putting out? It's as simple as that. If you can, if you can change positions in the equation and feel just as strong about, the, you know, about what you're putting out there from the other side and you can agree with it wholeheartedly when you sit on the other side of the equation, rock with that. But if you can't honestly say that you know that if you are on the other side of this equation, receiving the things that people are putting out about you in this moment, no matter how off the wall you may seem to the public, then let it go. Let it go. Again, I just have to revert to the day will come when everybody is going to need. And, and, and for, you know, for the average person, it won't be on a global scale. He sits on a global scale. So all, all of that is magnified by a gazillion times because he is known the world. So most people can't talk about it when they're getting talked about it at the, the fountain at work, you know, in the, in the break room at work. Most people can't talk about it when a couple of the sisters or a couple of the people in the clique at church are talking about you and don't like you. Imagine the world having an opinion. It, it's a lot to deal with. So again, even if prayer isn't your thing and you're not that person, I, from a human standpoint, I say, just switch places with them. Take it in your mind, be honest. If you could sit on the other side of that, and be okay with knowing the way people are coming at you, then go for it. There's nothing I can say to you because you're already setting a mindset. She was at this Jay-Z Soho house lunch yesterday. She was rocking a jumpsuit and um, Rihanna's performing tonight. So this for the generations before. I thank God for the strength that he put in them and we have a long way to go. We're not where we want to be, but we're not where we used to be. And so together we march, together we stand, together we fight until everyone can have the 